I big this one up, so I hope it delivers. Because I want an action-packed game of Counter-Strike here today, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing wakes me up more, Chad, than good Counter-Strike. Do I sound weird to you too? Uh, you hey, sound alright now. I don't know. Alright. You, you're back. Cool. Now, we don't get Astralis versus NIP later, but maybe this one can outdo that one. I have high expectations, absolutely. You know, my friend uh, Chad told me it's going to be good, so... Well, sadly, my friend also told me Fnatic win this in 90 seconds, so I'm not sure how I feel about that yet, <laughs> yeah. but here we are. Someone's lying. I'll choose who to trust. Yeah, I think I've got a quick answer to this, and also a nice little B lean here. It looks like Apex is kind of leaning away from it, but so far, if he sticks around, that's pretty He's got solid. flashes, basically. I mean, yeah. I don't know if they're going to be peeking on it, though. Two smokes, two mollies. This is quite a complex pistol round. The flashes are coming in from Apex, and JW does take off the first. Oh, great shooting, Zywoo does find her safe haven for a moment. A moment's respite, but he wants to repeat. There's three more sweeps where that came from, and he will get found out. Back of the head eliminated. Apex puts one there. JW unable to equalize. So now we fall into a one versus three. Poor old Rollins. Not the weapon for this kind of fight. Far from it. These are all favorable to the USP. How's he going to draw him in? How's he going to do anything with this? It's a good ding towards Shox. He expects the reflex from oh. Apex, but Masuda puts him down. There was a chance for that one. A very real chance. Landing the goosh, then having a bit of a 1v1 onto Masuda there. I mean, if, if Precision was on his side, if the crosshair was perfect, that was a winnable one versus three. Apex made it very difficult, of course. Catching JW with a clean bullet prior to the reload does give vitality. The first, and the, here comes the classic French SMGs. They love it. It's pretty common with Fnatic, just for people at home to note, if they don't get the plant on the pistol round on the T side, they will go for traditionally the full eco. Brolin's actually opted to go for the Tech 9, but normally when they don't get the plant, which happened in round number one, they will go for the full save because next round they get the 2400 and they get the AKs up straight away. They're not one of these teams to go for the force buy on the T side with the Tech 9s and all the goodies. They like to have a little bit more cash in the back pocket before they splash. And if Brolin can get anything done with this Tech-9, I'll be very impressed. Just the CT side of positioning right now, two towards Arch, one towards the balcony, means probably not going to happen. And, well, they've already taken away a huge <laughs> chunk of territory. Apex reconnaissance mission with RPK. They cleared out towards middle, and now they can just leave one and rotate a fourth member over towards the A side of things. Masuta on the balcony, on the railing there. A bit more of a difficult angle to find a frag as, well, Fnatic are doing the standard clear. Bait out utility, and uh, well, they're going to be dealt with. Strange seeing this map divided almost vertically rather than the way it normally goes, but with Apex's presence, looking pretty comfy. Trying to find those last few rats in the sewer. And it's just Crim. All right, one's not bad. Apex did make a lot of money there with those three kills, so he has 5.3 to his name. Maybe he'll drop an AWP over to Zywu and could get dropped one of those SMGs, or it could be a full bonus round. If you just take a look at the buy right now for Vitality, there we go, they are dropping guns across. So RPK is actually going to upgrade into an M4A4. Three SMGs, the MP9's retained. Apex is only purchased into the Kevlar, knowing he'll be up against the AK-47, so being very frugal with his cash, making the right decisions here. And RPK is apparently one of the worst candidates for buying armor when he doesn't need to. That's true, that was the Cologne stat, right? Yeah. $7,000 or something total. Oh. There's a good bit of damage. Doesn't finish it off. Okay, so this is the first point of territory Fnatic look for. Systematically go for banana control, and then once they have that, they'll smoke up towards top middle, they'll get bracket control, and then force out those rotations. If we see that arch side smoke come through, I'll make sure I highlight it for everybody at home so you can see just exactly what we're talking about. So this is the first. Very simple stuff. Very basic Counter-Strike here. So flash towards top middle. Nade's going to land and chunk Crims down just a little bit. But at this point, there's no information for Vitality. You take a look at the minimap. Unless Masuda wants to swing, they don't know if they're brackets. They don't know if they're top banana. They have to respect both. You know, this is the smoke from A to top middle. Sort of thrown out by shocks. This is actually the stuff that Nade set we saw from Masuda in his pro tip. That flash looks a little short to me. Just enough to get around the corner, though. So they've reclaimed information. And now they're rotating two members back over towards the B side of things. Apex very low, so Zywoo will be there with him. Oh, this is the perfect where we read at the moment. Smoke towards CT should buy them time to set up. Oh, going through it. Oh, they are. Zywoo does get across. 
They must have a term for going for plays like this. All the pros, surely. From behind is the perfect angle, and Zai Wu tested twice. On B, gets a third before getting out of there. That MP9 singing. And like a sewing machine, the singer has already done enough damage to secure the round. It's only eight seconds left. These MP9s have done enough. It was Zai Wu just using a smoke grenade and positioning to manufacture that triple kill. Flusher and Golden yet to contribute yet here on Inferno. Zero for both of them. See that one again. Just as they start making their push. I'm waiting for the tracer fire. That was enough for the third. Beautiful. It makes it look very simple. Oh. What, what's it? I don't know how he makes it look so easy. Yeah, he's just... He, he, the way he sees this game, he sees those vulnerabilities in a mm. much more apparent way. And uh, he's punished it again. He's punished it again. So that's quite the start from Zaiwu. Him and uh, Apex off to the flying start. Five frags apiece. It's only three rounds into Inferno. And now the CT's quite an aggressive stance into the apps. Look at that. Trying to take some part of the map at all times. Trying to deny some form of information. You can see Brian immediately takes a paranoid stance. They've gone for a interesting assortment, Chad. What, 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 what do you call this one? Two hero AKs around the... 1,500 and 2,200. I mean, what the bloody hell's going on here? Yeah, well, those saved AKs for Crimson Brolin, right? That's the mantle of this. They didn't want to just leave them hanging. So a little bit of an investment here because the loss bonus, when we think about it, it will be maxed That's out max if they loss. lose this round. Oh, so 34. It's just going to leave Brolin and Crims obviously a little bit shy, but they can go for Galil. So it won't be the end of the world, but this one here could be potent if the Deagles can help these AKs set up for some frags. So just going to be the flash from Golden. Not sure if they want to bait utility or go on this. Well, it looks like it's a oh. Oh, uh, hello, Flusher. Goodbye, RPK. Site open suddenly is taken. Simplistic yet so perfectly done. Shots like that obviously help the matter, but what are you meant to do on the CT side? You're a million miles away. Just like that, the round is won. Oh. So clean. Wow. Okay, well, we will have 40 seconds where we can sit and uh, have a bit of a chit chat. Any topics? I haven't been looking at the news. We've spoken about this, so I don't have like any... I'm not getting stimulated by anything interesting that's going on in the world. It's just Counter-Strike. Yeah, I had a day off, but I worked. And then... Um, we went... We, went we, we were together for the last time. And then so I did the same thing I've been doing for the last five we, weeks. We can't really... This is only week four I haven't, hours, my, all right? I know, I'm just saying, like, my, you know, my life hasn't been particularly uh, story-filled. I've yeah. been doing the same thing every day for the last five weeks. I'm trying to think if there's anything that happened yesterday. Um, I'd like to throw out the idea of uh, Rush in Among Us. Um, Lauren, you really keep pushing that. I'm just never it. around. Like, I'm ju I just go it's to such bed. such a lie. You do your little danger zone dates. Among Us is fun, dude. It's it really good. We, we, they're Sunday nights, though. You know, you know when we were at the, um, in Katowice and, like, we were uh, getting laughed at by the Dota crew for playing games and they were sitting around playing their little Pixies and Wizards talky game? Yeah, they play Mafia or whatever Precisely. it is, Precisely. Right? Among Us is a version of that. We're laughing at us for playing the actual Among, video. Uh, Among Us is a version of that game, but it's a video game, so... Mm. The audacity on them to laugh at us. I know, they're allowed to though, because they were socialized, they're one annual socializing event. <laughs> Don't go outside very often, Chad. It's, let them have it. Oh, dearie me. That was funny. Um, well, same just play. still on the SMG. I guess he didn't get to do much no, last time. No, why not? Didn't just hold on to it. Run it back again. Brolin, same position. Looks very similar to the previous round as well. Well, let's see if it has the same kind of an ending. There's no Deagle this time to crack things open. Well, no, the Deagles are still there. But the AKs will be the primary weapon of choice. Ooh, saw a bit there, Apex. So that exchange of utility is good for him, but Golden pushing forward, in-game leader on in-game leader action. My favorite kind. Oh, he's going for it. Go on, Misuta. Go on, Misuta. Gets traded, but that's ambitious, and it's a success. Certainly by his standards. I we were just trying to catch the trade, but Brolin far too smart for that. B site will be held and defended by just one man, and that's RPK. No utility at all, just his trusty M4, and there's two players already dug deep into B. Tower so has a flash here. Good shot. Oh, he's nearly got two there, nearly. Bombs crossing. Shog's a bit late to the party as well. So we can get one quickly. I'm trying to think who might give it up. Maybe Golden, but I feel like he's going to slip away towards Emote. They dissipate away from the site, just kind of fizzling out towards Banana and 
becomes less and less likely. They do have the smoke. Who smokes, play. yeah. They've got, they've got bits and pieces to play with, so smoke towards the top of Banana will allow Zywu a second to step forward. Nate towards Noob. Oh, Molly's good. Molly yeah. is great. That's golden done for. Okay, now the last two are on Banana. The smoke's still in play, but the bomb's ticking. They've got to get on this, and they've got to find these two fast. Flusher knows the lineup oh so well, but Shox is right back on it. Now Brolin... Oh, Shox has no idea. Shox is still so paranoid. It's over. It's done with. Nicely played again by Fnatic. It's only one player standing, but it's a round on the board. Money's still good for Vitality, but that's a great round win from Fnatic there. Cut dicey for a moment. The Molotov almost blew up uh, Golden on impact. Lands yeah, you, you two saw, ticks. You saw the shadow desperately trying to remove Run. the position. It was a sad state of affairs. Timeout called. That's the first timeout of the game. It's called by Vitality, X Taz. I asked him how to say his name properly. He said, like the thing you take in the nightclub, you know, X Taz? Ah, so okay, okay. That's how you say his name. I've never spoken to him. Yeah, you can talk. All right, well, maybe we'll have to uh, see if we can set up an interview with him at some point. Uh, yeah, I don't know why he's, he's, uh, he's hiding away from the cameras, but focusing on the project at hand. He's been with them for a while now. Has Apex changed room? He has. It looks he looks, like, looks to have relocated. Well, he's got a globe in the background of this one. Often means you're back at your parents when there's a globe involved or a solar system of some description. I just used to have the stars on the roof. The glow in the dark ones. Yeah. They were great. Have a name. I, I never really slept in pitch black, but when I went around Mikey Logue's house. Fucking Mikey Logue. It was always dark. They closed the door. It was a bit spooky. What? And he only had the glowy stars. And so I used them my solace when I visited the Logue's house. Still. <laughs> That's the end of my star story. Now the star of the Counter-Strike show. Oh, damn. Bang. Oh. Quick scope into the leg of a flusher. Certainly not going to convert to a round win, but it's a good start. Now jiggling Apex could be in trouble. If the suit is not there for help. Oh, goodness, JW. Oh, there's the, sa there's the saving grace of Miss Suta. That's what we were hoping to see. That's the round over. You see how quickly they were forced into that by the banana AWP there of Zywoo though, right? This is the mid round that we're talking about. Both teams happy to react quickly. And this time Vitality come out on top. So we will get more and more of these brawly rounds continuing forward. Fnatic with their money situation right now. Roughly 2k on most of the names remaining. Flusher with this AK-47. His job is to get as many kills as possible. Keep that CT economy under control. It's a $1,900 loss bonus in the following. So it will be enough to get another buy round through. If Flusher can hold on to this. He can drop, maybe even get that orb. So he's picked up the big green. 30 seconds left. Still using the shift key, not wanting to give away his position whatsoever. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> there he goes. He's got the orb. And I guess if... Oh. Uh, pick again, come back. No one. Are they going to try and pick him together? Do they see him? No way. Okay, well, the smoke top middle. Flush is definitely not getting back into this one. AWP will be carried on through. I'm curious if he wants to use it himself because you can see there he has 2750 in the back pocket. So he could drop the AWP and he can buy an AK or he could drop the AK and keep the AWP. Obviously, JW is the one we're normally looking to to do the primary AWPing duties. But everyone should have a rifle to work with on the Fnatic side of things going forward. This was the trade onto Zywoo and then Masuda basically shutting it down just from that boiler position. And the laughs, the smiles. We love to see it. Everyone having a good time. Certainly a good sign. They relocated from their Renault HQ. We saw them have a couple of weeks there. At the start of the season. Or was that Cologne? I can't even remember. It's all blood. Uh, that was Cologne. For a little bit though, weren't they? No, I don't think they started Pro League. I think they went home. Yeah. yeah. Okay, oh. cool. So that was the the other event. Same as NIP. They were there for uh, yeah, yeah. in their boot camp and then they went back home. It makes sense. The group stage of... Pro League goes for three weeks because it's a round robin format. And you're not playing every day. It's almost every third day, I think it is. And then as we get to this weekend, we have all the matches played simultaneously on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, okay. God, it, there's just like dashes of brutality in this game. Yeah. It's, it's you know, the lull hits for a while and then suddenly Zai was in your face trying to do what he can. Suddenly there's a play back in. Suddenly there's, you know, uh, I don't know, Golden flying up towards the top of Banana. I love seeing this. It's very unpredictable. I'm sure uh, it's going to be quite hard to observe at times, but Apex is going to fall super passive towards Emo. The three T is going to be set into motion by Crims. Smoke in, flash in, in we go. Apex is going to be probably asking for some support here. The other three are pretty far behind. 
Two of them gonna play it back through Banana. Here comes the Molly. Apex is in danger, burning alive. Still gets one, couldn't quite convert on the second. But while that happened, Crims did find shocks. Now it's Zywoo and Masuta try and play this one back in. Certainly doable. Look at how much nades they've got. The kit to be picked up as well. I hope Zywoo doesn't neglect that. There we go. Nade lands on Flush's nose. Oh, oh that was destined for greatness, but a little shy. They're throwing out all their util. The shots are in the right place. Molotov forces gold into a passive line. No real time. No smoke either. Zywoo to hold it. In. And this is the round. Good catch. Defended by the Swedes. Three frags from Flusher. Back and forth we go. So we started off with three in a row there from Vitality, then two back from Fnatic. Then we had the timeout round when we saw Flusher save that AWP. And well, this is where Fnatic strike back. And I think this might be just the nature of this entire series here today. And Lauren, with those splashes that you're talking about of aggression, mm. That's the teams both happy to play within mid rounds, right? Because as a CT, if you're going for aggressive plays like that, you're highly unlikely to, to get in and get out. You're there to get as many frags as you can and then make these mid rounds as troublesome as possible. And right now, Vitality will bite back with some pistols. We got a couple of, uh, well, four to be exact. Deagles across the board. One, five, seven in the hands of Apex. Couple flashes and two smoke grenades. This one might stall out a little bit because Fnatic want to work out what buy they're up against. That's the uh, front sight smoke just to obscure a bit of vision, force the rotation on that B site, make them take different lines, different angles. And over towards top middle, it will be Masuta and Zywa with these deagles. So let's not count them out just yet. That smoke over towards the outside. Timer on that isn't too much longer will be fading now, and the flashes, they could swing off this. One flash is pretty good to that. You caught all of them. They're going again. Shox has another one. Double dip. Oh. Go. oh, he's whiffed it. Oh, oh. what? No worries. He missed the flash, and then he does that. Must be nice. Yeah, if you fail the flash, it sends Zyra at them. Fade's not coming in. That was their chance. And now, poor old Shoxy. Highly unlikely he's in a multi frank position here. He's going to hope for one. Gets it. And even finding the low. second JW being low, he could do it all with a deagle, and he does. Shoxy, a magnificent hold. Zywu starts it. Shox finishes it. Spectacular work on the sidearm. Fnatic going to be kicking themselves about that one there. That whole flash scenario with Zywu was comical, but doesn't matter if you're laughing, you're dead anyway. Golden and Brolin just got absolutely flatlined. And if he doesn't hit that first shot, first bullet, he doesn't get a chance into flash up. Yeah, the re three. people might be curious as to why Crims is running wide and not clearing that close angle. It's so you don't bottleneck the site like that. So Crims's job is actually to draw that fire, and the second player in is meant to be able to trade, and that didn't happen. So Fnatic find themselves up against it. Look at Sharks. He wants more. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, Deagle City, folks. Okay, Fnatic and Vitality have given us a perfect summary of what these two teams are capable of in just two rounds. Oh. Brolin with the 180. And that, my friends, is a quick JW special. Just delivering and serving us up a round with the double dig down mid. He's against Orpers, he's against AKs. He still finds the double headshot. He just gives Zywa a taste of his own medicine right back. Yikes. Well, that's what I was expecting with this game. Maybe not in the Deagle fashion right there, but the brawly nature, the back and forth, the tug of war, and now RPK has to save. So if no team can really string together a bunch of rounds in a row, they're, they're both gonna be locked around that, you know, 2,400 loss bonus time after time. And that might keep them in the force by cycle. Unfortunately for Vitality, Costs a little bit more to buy all the goodies. And Flusher wants to take away RPK. So let's see if he can do it. The MP9 and the Deagle. Not going to bite it any more than that. Throws out the molly. That's it. Five rounds now, back and forth. Back yeah. And, forth. and this is this is the nature of this game. It's Holy. great to see. JW was put so <laughs> low immediately. Oh, 22 man. health. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> These players are just ridiculous. Oh, he looks repulsed, like he's just been served a meal of <laughs> human waste. Contrasting emotions there, isn't it? Jedi with a little smile. Mm -hmm. We got a dance going on in the top left. Someone's upside down in the bottom right. 
I wonder if they they force back. Yeah, they will. So it, it just makes sense because Vitality can do it as well. There's there's no reason that they can't get involved in the same fashion. I were at the top of the charts here. Nine kills, 118 points of ADR. No one's really running away with the game just yet. Five to four, the scoreline. Round number 10 about to kick off. A bunch of MP9s. Holds true to trend wise. This could be Vitalities, right? Well, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> this is like when you go to the fight. casino and you see it like it's on red all the time and you think, oh, it has to be black. It has to be. It has to be. <laughs> Logic, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, the worst buy coming in. SMGs, they make them look extraordinarily proficient, however. I'll give them that for sure. Um, the other side, not pretty nice purchase. Pretty well rounded, all said and done. While he's going in, golden on the clear. All right, so they've baited out that utility at least from Vitality, and that's good stuff for Fnatic within the early stages. They're working with a lot more. Now the smokes, the three remaining for the French, if they can hold on to these when the clock starts to get sub one minute, we can have a conversation about them locking down the bomb site. But if they throw them out too early, if they use them before the timer trickles down low, Fnatic, they don't have any issues operating against it. Just be clean trades into the bomb site with no utility to have to run through. So Golden can lead the way and go for a bit of a money man mission with his MP9, find out who's home, see how many enemies are on the other side if they want. It looks like it will be the full execute into the B site with all five players in Banana. The rotation from Masuda coming in as well. This could get dicey. Really good. Smoke fast, RPK still steps up to the plate. The spray is wild and so are the frags. Look at that, so many bodies drop as it settles though. It's a two versus three. Sharks! Oh no! He can win the round right there. Caught with a nade in his hand, JW. Staring at the bottle of flame, wishing it was a bottle of something else. Nasty turn of events. And now, a true to trend, Lauren, you got it. <laughs> there you go, even a broken clock can be correct. There's uh, my summary uh. of analysis. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, this game's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, in theory, Fnatic win this round, right? bring up the round recap, please, production? If uh, when you have a moment, we'll bring up that. Uh, wait till the end of the round if we have to. But you could just demonstrate how quickly these rounds have gone back and forth and forth, by back and forth. It's Tech Nine's arm up. Oh, Fast B. Nades galore. Molly's being put down. They're trying to slow the train, but the... Station's looking pretty close by. RPK blind, but comes out of it fine. Apex now with him, isolates one, but Golden's gonna be doing some damage. No, RPK shocks all oh. there. This is nice. Shut down, goodbye. Finally, a couple of rounds, not a couple, two rounds strung together. Okay, so here's the round timeline that we were just talking about there. So if you look from round five, it was back and forth, a little bit like a tennis match. And finally, Vitality have been able to break serve with 10 and 11 put, 11? 11 put in their... Uh, Stead, as we have four rounds left in this half. We'll just be the light pistol. So maybe Fnatic win this one, you know? It's not, it's not as much of an upgrade. They probably win this one. Three Deagles, two Glocks. Apex is just going with the USP here. I'm not sure if that was an intentional decision. Ah, okay. It wasn't. There was an M4 for him, so that's all right. He can pick that up. It wasn't, it wasn't like he was in a fight and going, oh, no, I left the gun at spawn. Oh, what a fun affair this has been. I, I just don't think I've seen a game like this in a while. So I'm glad you guys kind of painted the picture of what to expect. And it's certainly holding very true to that. But this shouldn't be a problem, right? There shouldn't be deagles coming out. There shouldn't be too much threat. But maybe within a little bit of a Ooh. range. Like the old boost there for Zaiwu, though. So able to make sure mids kept in check. Yeah, they've got this quad stack going on here, so any poking and prodding from Fnatic as they want to come up this corridor should be dealt with. Bron's going to get away with a Deagle. Masuda was thinking about going for a chase right there, but thinks better of it. Golden might spam. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to hold that line towards Coffins, but trying to find the one way in the smoke, and he's found a little bit of a gap. Don't think he'll be greeted with anything just yet. No, nor do I, and I don't think Fnatic really have many avenues back in here. Shox is in such a prime position. Does pay quite the price for his first frag down to half. He doesn't want to overextend or give any ways back in for Fnatic. Zywu in support as well. Has flashbang. Golden still trying to knock RPK off his perch, but not to be. And back to be for Flusher and Crims. <laughs> it's just Execution. Okay. Here we go. Crims one. Uh. How much damage does he get to do on this? Shocks did get tagged up. Oh. Oh, God, stop it. I love the one, Deegs. 
the, the one digs, the one tap with the AK, and the USP kills against uh, pistol rounds, they're the best kills in the game. They're the most rewarding looking so frags, smart. right? They're just yeah. a poof. So Fnatic will be taking a timeout here just to discuss through their options this half. It's not away from them just yet. They still can get the 8-7 on the board. Money, however, from Vitality because of the spree of three rounds they posted in a row has been built on up. So we'll take a few before they get broken. And let's just see what Fnatic's answer is to this because we've seen early, we've spoken about it, there have been a few little pop flash maneuvers from Vitality. We've seen the one from Masuta. He has that MP9 again, so maybe he gets pop flashed into the end of holes once more. RPK has been pop flashed towards out the top of Banana as well. And now that the guns are back out, the AK-47s across the board, Crims will be purchasing his in a moment. Fnatic can look to now mount a bit of a comeback in this first half. Round 13. Let's see what they can bring out because it hasn't been as easy for them to get top banana and top mid control like I was previously stating for their go-to approach to the Inferno T side. Golden will be leading the charge up banana right now. Molotov and he gets out of there. So doesn't want to take too much damage, but also Vitality aren't throwing out many nades of their own. They've stacked three players over towards B. They might want to lure Golden and Flusher into this. Someone post Ah, oh, Zywoo pushed up. RPK kind of playing him in potentially. If given the opportunity, Nade doesn't quite reach Flusher, but Smoke's coming out. Molly's going to be there. We haven't seen Zywoo push this close. We haven't seen many fights at the top of Banana. It's generally been trade out of util, but eventually given over this. It looks like the timing couldn't have been better. Zywoo put into a position for success, but this is where the hit's coming in. Yeah, this is the big commitment now. They are taking brackets control, and the flank's coming in so fast. I'm not even sure if it's ready for this. Yeah, cat off guard. Only the one for Brolin in response. RPK was part and parcel of that. Now JW and Golden both behind the lines of Apex. And it's nine for Vitality. Definitely looking like a, a beast to be reckoned with here. This French squad, every individual when tested seems to be passing the multi-frag test. Shocks up at 14. ADR for RPK is in the hundreds. He's been locking them down at B. This was Zywu just baited in again. It's rare to see Fnatic caught out. And I just saw two members of Fnatic were pulling out pins or shot in the back without the comms because Vitality are taking some liberties. The fact that they pushed down Banana after finding Flusher, it's indicative that they've done their homework and that the in-game leader of Apex is definitely making the right calls. Or just the mid-round from each and every one of them. It's easy to attribute mid-round calling to that of the leader. Not always the case. Boosting him up on the half wall. That might instigate a little bit of a rotate from RPK. Yeah, he's out of there. They're not being bullied, Vitality, which is nice. They're the ones who are dictating the pace of this game so far. Fnatic are normally able to new to you and your aggression and hold you at bay with very good utility usage. And then the fear of Crims and Brolin doing their default over towards second mid can be enough to hold every team in more passive lines. But as we mentioned, and we'll mention it again, just some of these maneuvers from Vitality have been taking away a lot of the space Fnatic are used to getting. That's a great nade. Huge chunk of damage onto Golden. Nice lick as well there onto Flusher. And Apex just standing and wanting to fight here. Any kills that he gets is going to drop some basic utility. And that utility is going to be necessary for Fnatic. Look, still postured forward. He's not afraid. He's the only one to be. He's got support finally, but it took some time. Oh my god, look at him go. Gets one. Knows there's more where that came from. He's doing so much damage, but it's none of none of it's converted into a frag. So low now, these armored pistols. One good nade, and there's none remain. Come on, shocks. <sighs> Flash him around the corner. This is huge one. There's more where that came from, but Flusher does get it. There's a world in which Flusher could win this. How are they alive? That's the question. That really is the question. 20 seconds. The flashes are great from Zai. We look at them just blind. Oh, oh, oh but he's blind and he still gets a frag. He's going to do it all. Planning in front of their face as well. No one can deny it. Oh. AW hitting the deagle shots now. It falls to Masuta. Can he finish what his teammates have started? These guys oh. don't know that they're look dead. Look at JW. No. The oh, are you kidding me? There's no way Masuda expects no way. this. No, no, no. Is, is it planted for it? It is, right? It's a little bit more open. Yeah, Flusher planted <gasps> bravely. <gasps> this one's done. Oh, yep. this is nutty. That's so cheeky. Masuda's not going to have a clue. Oh, bless your heart. Except the fate here, Masuda. JW's got you. Oh, had another real chance there. Yeah. Jesus. It looked like it was one bullet to connect on. and JW would have gone down. On. Oh, dear. That was brave. 
But that round never should have been Fnatic's. You think about how that started. Apex is bullying them down the bottom of Banana, gets a free kill spamming through the boards. Felt like he probably should have had a couple more there. Shox gets one. You think he's getting flashed out. He's going to have a multi-kill. Doesn't happen. And then Flusher with the blind kill onto RPK. That's the round winner. Oh, Flusher really just bowed them out. Check this out. Oh, wow. That's nuts. Okay. What a, what a round. Well, this just got a little bit more interesting, didn't it? Final round of the half, round 15 underway here. Fnatic have got the guns back up on board. Double orps for the CT. Shocks wielding the secondary. Zywo on the primary. Oh, this matchup is making me smile. This is a brand of Counter-Strike I have not expected to see, but my word, is it truly volatile. Now, Shocks, a new look. Ooh, I think he saw enough. Yeah. Wow, Flusher. <laughs> Flusher's a beast! Okay, well that's top banana, banana control granted. Apex just getting that AWP into his own hands. Oh, where's the rest of them? Okay, looking towards a Zou and Masuta. The two on the site or around the site. Support's on the way. They're going for this one. Keep in mind that Flusher could be on the flank, but Zaiwu going to give a good start here. The rest coming through towards CT. Zaiwu RPK, big combo. But Flusher might be able to get some territory here. If he goes fast enough, he can get ahead of the rotations. Yeah, and he is going to at least start walking in. Crimson's the smoke for spawn. This is good. Oh, what a nade. 50 damage, shaved off, and a molly to stop the plant as well. Gonna get a bit toasty for Crims. Down to 26. Apex has caught him. And now all one for Flusher. Does no. hit a wild shot through the smoke. And what universe, Flusher's coming online, and RPK quick to disconnect. And before it got out of hand, my goodness, 10 to 5 will be our score on the half defuse. Coming on in. Multi kills are plenty. The tank and Zywu at the top of the scoreboard. It's all business as usual. 10 5 on the half.
Would you give up the fight if you had no time to even surrender? Would you give up your rights and let your life slide away? Vitality in control. T side for them next. It's Inferno, Fanatics, Matt Pick. And we've got high expectations for the series. And it's delivered in buckets and spades. We've seen smiles from both squads. We've seen deagles from both squads. And it's a battle of the, the tennis style of Counter Strike. You've seen them trading rounds. And eventually, Vitality managed to pull away with the CT economy. And now it's time for Fanatic to be on the defense. Let's see what the French have got in store for us. It could be the very same pistol round. It's exactly the same buy that we saw from the uh, Swedes, a la Francais, and they've even got themselves an extra smoke grenade. So that's a different look as they do head towards the second apps. It was much more a B hit last time. So maybe A smokes and mollies this time. All right, CZ for Brolin could be everything here if they decide they want to go for a bit of a hauls play. 12 bullets and quickly rain out of that bad boy. But they've been given banana control for free. They have hauls and boiler control for free as well. So with Apex and RPK over towards Banana, they could really sell a good fake if they wanted to execute, and they're lining up for it right now. So we'll see the coffin smoke. We'll see the CT smoke come through. Do they want to use their Molotovs here? Ooh. Well, Drew out an acquisitive roll, and he's going to fall. That Caesar's going to be recovered. Zywa's going to be loving that one. He even found himself a bit of a nade on the ground there. So, so weird. Where yeah, are you going to go on this round? Do you have... Success over by apartments, but then they've also done the mollies at B. The CT side, I think, are as baffled as to how to approach this as we are, but for now... Uh, oh God, two he's just going to check middle, up. and he's going to say it's B. <laughs> so, yeah, they're, they're perhaps overcomplicating this one a little bit, but they are heading into an open site, so they've done it right. Just flusher. Oh, no. Oh no, look at him oh, go. Oh, oh is he God. dodged around? Like Apex saw him, he sniffed him out, and this one could be flawless. <laughs> oh, Apex catch. Here you go. Yay, great throw. Strong shut arm. Down. Yeah, shut down by RPK, but yeah, real curious round, all, all said and done. It's crazy how much information that drew, right? They went smoke cough and smoke CT. That was all they threw. Brolin pushes, he dies to Zywoo. They Peek their head around the corner B, they get another kill. And that was basically the round right there. So Vitality split up, divide and conquer. That's their method. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if that's their mantra or anything, but it seems to work. You can make it that. Divide and conquer. Well, Fnatic are on the four spy. So they have a bunch of nades, three HEs, five smokes, upgraded pistols. This one could get interesting. And if they lose this, well, Vitality could be running away with map number one. Ooh, chunky nade there. But they're still standing around. This oh. is brutality again. These guys are ridiculous. Smoke in, they're gonna bait in Crims. He's now on a bit of an island. I don't know if Flusher can do anything to help, but they fall oh. through the line and sinker. Trade comes out, shocks recovery, but now four? he's surrounded. Winnable. And JW was really accelerating towards middle. Oh, no. Shocks has found him. He can save the day for vitality. And he wants to fake it out. Oh my god, it's for the ace as well. Oh, Bronlin's far too wise for his games. He pauses. Dirty HP is the perfect amount of HP for Brolin to overcome the odds. But Shox has already done that four times. Oh, he's tucking in. This is wild stuff here. Shox has 20 kills. Yeah, but this one becomes a question of who will blink first. He's so confident it's going to be the flank. You know his problem was he is an A player. Oh, look at the timing. I thought Brolin was about to start making a move. Okay, and as Shox rounds the corner, tension starts to drop, oh, no. and now it rises into the crescendo because he's walking straight into the... <gasps> and he pulls out oh his Oh my pistol. god! Not like that one, no! Brolin, you gotta give him credit. He stood his ground, he knew he had a degree of an advantage, and after Shox just pops off, he had a chance to make it 
all the way through to the B site. It was wide open this whole time. Shox just had no idea. Golden with a double on the Deeg. Crim's even finding one with a 5-7. It was this double kill that kept him in the round. And just when he thought, look at that, oh. pistol out. Brolin emerged. Really, really, really intense counter-strike. And so it will be the force. See, armor and P250s. When Shox watches that back, how mad is he going to be? <laughs> He had the right play, you know, he, he knew exactly. Back, Don't. Oh, dear. Sometimes it's best not to know. Oh, my word. So there's three smokes right now. This looks like it's going to be set up for an A piece. This one over towards library. Smokes out towards the arch side. Oh, they're stuck in their tracks right here. What? what? Sorry, what? Easy. I, 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 I really don't know what the hell this is. We've had Tech 9s running in, but that P250 drive-by was perfect, but it has been quelled now. And even if it's just for a second, a lull in the pace of this absolutely mental game. Rifle on shocks could be massive in this. No util left as well. They are down to what they have in their hands. Golding puts down a smoke, buys another couple of seconds, but where do they take themselves? No one's offering anything up yet. Smoke will fade. Vitality the, had the intention of going long side, but seems a short is going to be a problem. RPK catching the trade, but he's all they left and finished off by the Galil. So we will see some weapons scavenged away and upgrade found for Golden at the very least towards that side of the map. This was the Masuta drive by we all liked so much. Lovely jubbly into the head. But it's 11 to 7, and that's two rounds in a row from Fnatic. After a Vitality Pistol win, seeing for the Swedes immediately return. Some happy fans there. Someone's in school. <laughs> Straight up in class. Yeah, Counter-Strike school. So They're here what? to learn. Oh, my God. All right, students, today... How to win talk. a full eco. <laughs> <laughs> this is advanced class. Now. Yeah. Win a full eco against fully bought Fnatic. That's the... That's the lesson today. Oh, watch this. They're going to sit in the smoke and all pounce out. Hi. Oh, my. Well, that's scary. Drops the incendiary. They disrespect oh, yeah. it. And, well, that's the quickest way to lose an eco. Charging through the flames into the AKs and the M4s. There we go. There we have it. <sighs> See, thanks to Vitality, we didn't have to sit through a minute and 55 seconds of them sauntering around the map just trying to bait out utility. They thought, we'll get this one done quick for everybody. How considerate. And look at that. How does Shox have so many kills? It's insane. I guess Apex does have seven assists, so Shox has just been finishing off a couple of easy ones. I guess the ADR kind of gives away that. Yeah. A little bit of um, assistance from old Apex. The French. All right. AK's back out. Here we go. Let's see if Vitality have anything in store for Fnatic early. Flash towards top mid. Shocks will force them back. Lots of nades over towards Banana. Three Molotovs down the bottom there. So one came from top mid. Two came from Banana. All it took was one simple Molotov out of the hands of Vitality to keep Banana in their control. And now it's just the walk up. This is the jewel. This is everything. JW oh. down. Oh. Rims follows. There we go. Vitality crack open the A site. The bomb's still at T-steps. Make no... Mistake, this is not going to be a fast round unless the frags keep coming in that manner. Oh, hard shots for him to hit. Masuta like the flank flusher through the smoke, keeping something at least a little competitive, keeping the conversation alive. But yeah, flusher and golden and CT spawn. Bombs arriving now. Look how many nades are left, Alex. They, yeah. they have the site control. They still have all those nades left. They just walked into the site, <laughs> hit two headshots, and the rest, well, it's it's done. It's the simple version of Counter-Strike. Is the headshot strategy. It's one of the best ones for you kids in school to learn. Right, so if you just walk towards the site, win your first two jewels, plant, yep. you're probably going to win every round. That's it. That's the way we do it. And then the CTs, it's easy as well. When the Ts come your way, yeah. shoot them. First. First. You've got to beat them to, yeah. to shoot in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click on them first yeah. with your mouse. You guys got that? And that's pretty much the end of Counter-Strike Lessons, actually, really. Oh. Um, Wraps it up. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the, the, the entire game. Uh, you click before your opponent does. And um, do it until your number says 16. Gosh, I thought this was really complicated. They say this game is complicated, but... Oh, they lied, Lauren. <laughs> they definitely lied. <laughs>
Oh, but I, I'm, I'm sorry. Look how many nades. Chad's right. Like, at the end of that game, at the end of that round, they've, they've got full util sets. <laughs> no, I was, I was thinking, for, like, the CTs, it must be so hard playing against the pace of this, because you're going to have people flying up mid, so you have to use your utility. Yeah. It's, it, the, the tempo in which this game plays for them must be so hard to contain and keep control of. Some love for Brolin there in the fan cams. Definitely uh, besotting many. But we are heading over to our 21st round of the first map of the second game today. We're seeing our usual spread. Three this time towards B at the start for the CTs, making sure that extra utility is deployed and a double stack nade not going to be finding any action. So that smoke onto the molly, it's more to draw more util out and you can see it has done exactly that. Look at all of this, all of his stuff, all because RPK threw a smoke on a molly. It keeps them busy. Well, let's see if they have the, the same flash. success in towards mid. That flash is good. It's got shocks up there, right? Limits the information they now have. The map gets a little smaller for the CTs. They're so brave, Vitality, in the way they take areas. They're not using Molotovs to push back. That was just a simple flash. It could have been dodged. There could have been stacked. a body, yeah. Yeah, and then they, they put their bodies on the line to take the room, and it's really worked out for them here. We can see that there's still banana control for Flusher, who's been having a bit of a mad one on that T side and had a couple of big rounds. But over towards A, their four-man stack, they're forced back. Now, JW wants to continue the search. Now, if they clear top middle and they call, well, they need to push Flusher back in Banana first. That should be the next step for Vitality. With Molotov, top mid, clear. They know Banana's clear as well. So this is information that doesn't really help them a lot right now because they don't know where the T's are whatsoever. That Flash will force Flusher out of the line of sight. He doesn't have any utility, so he has to completely respect it. 30 seconds left. Hmm. And it's drawn the rotation, so Golden's on his way. It's going to be three on five on A. Oh, yeah. Golden's in limbo. Here we go. Him. Into the leg. Crims, though, is in such a prime position. He can ruin it all. The spray. I has got, got his weapon out. It does take him down. A quick one from JW. Perhaps a chance, though, and it's taken away by Brolin. Sharks realizing this round has got nothing for him, and so will look to maintain. But what a what what a strategy they had going on there. The, it's all smoke and mirrors. You can see Golden was thrust into limbo, as you dubbed it. But it doesn't quite translate. Nice work from Crims as they opted for the long side. Perhaps the gap was short, but you see how this worked out. RPK with the first, but then just nice frags from Crims in that corner. Double before RPK could have anything to say about it. So losing that top mid control completely and not having Banana at the same time as losing that meant that Fnatic were able to take back some territory and really bank on which side it was going to be the hit. What's going on in the middle down the bottom there? That was an interesting looking room. I want to see that nice, one again. Uh, anime looking. Anime. Waifu mouse pad. I oh. It was like that weird Fnatic thing that they did where they had like some weeby stuff going on. Didn't they do it with um, Hello Kitty? Yeah, I think it was one of those numbers. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, right now a timeout has been called for Vitality. They have one left within this game. We're going into round number 22. The scoreline is 12 to 9 for those of you dialing on in on the FMs or the AMs or the Winamps. Remember when we had to sync up like Winamp with... Oh, you do this countdown at the start yeah. of a game. I would listen to like, I would, I would listen to all the old old casters back in the day watching the scoreboard and listening to the cast because I wasn't able to watch the game. It's a good time. Yeah. It'd uh, be very descriptive. Uh, the description of this round would be mad aggression banana. Look at these boys, the tank true to kind of form, just plowing forward. CT side called into action. They, they can't oh. fight back, but the nades did a great deal of work. Zywood RPK kind of taking the large amount of flack off that one, but they have fought and somewhat garnered top banana control by now. Yeah, I'm not sure if the damage is gonna haunt them here because you can still see. Three players sticking on that B bomb site from Team Fnatic. If it is the late finish, we've already got RPK posted very, very forward, lying in wait in case there is a reconnaissance mission to get more information. But yeah, look at this. We can see them all regrouping. The suitor coming through the mini pit. And it will just be the B attack. We've only got one smoke, right? I don't think Golden's got anything. I don't think Crim's got anything. I think everything was flooded into that initial exchange. So this one smoke better be goddamn good. Crim's flash, flusher, flash, Golden, the only one able to do much. But the push through the smoke is going to help out. They're still alive. Yeah, no fighting. Tooth and nail. It is all down to one man and two HP. RPK, what on earth can you do about this one? It doesn't seem like much. Even gives a glimpse to JW. A smoke to draw him into a false sense of security. He's going for the aggressive push. He oh takes the God. clean headshot. JW tempted now, perhaps. He does catch a glimpse of him. 
They're both there. RPK wants to continue to fight, and Krim uses his next victim. Oh. RPK with two oh HP, he pushes God. it to the limit. My God, every round, it's always a question mark, especially when RPK is still alive. A valiant attempt coming in from Miss Monsieur Cedric. What a crack that was, all things considered. Yeah, right. That was great. You can see, like, there's a, there. He could have very easily taken JW out there. Like, that would have been a masterful clutch. All right. Well, finally, back down to the uh. pistols. But I'm sure the excitement doesn't stop here. So let's see how these deagles go. Smoke for shocks. A little bit of light Kevlar. He's actually also bought into some flashes. So a late purchase here, meaning that Vitality probably don't want to get stuck in immediately. Brolin doing his best Masuta cosplay over towards the apps. Because of the way Fnatic pushed down and spammed through, you can see here Shox isn't leaving spawn. They're more than happy just to wait for the early stages of this to come finish. Oh, here we go. They're going to give it a crack. We saw Heroic doing this. Okay. Shox plays first. Oh, RPK consideration. Here. He wants some middle territory and we'll take it. Shox really not considering how to play the game correctly. <laughs> we'll find himself now on the back foot. And this one here looks like it will be a draw, ladies and gentlemen. It's a cool... Great attempt there from Shox, but really needing to know how to open up the board. As JW takes down Zaiwu, and well, maybe there wasn't as much excitement coming into this round as I thought there could have been. I liked the game of Tic-Tac-Toe in Spawn, though. That was quite a highlight, I feel. Uh, it's nice that Valve have implemented some um, entertainment for the pistol in Spawn approach. Well, they took the bells out, thank God. Oh, Henry loved those. There was that game, was it? I think, was it eight? No, I can't remember who it was who was doing it as well. I swear it was someone in this game, but uh, yeah, someone was tolling the bell as he was trying to do a nice summary of a game. Now, 25 second flash comes in, flashed off the angle, but Golden still safe, and Golden keeps the round safe. Very well played in the end by Fnatic. No, uh, no, no trickery, no real losses. Comfort in the end for them, and they're almost back all even. 12 to 11 now, Fnatic just one round away. Rushy lied to us. Uh, yeah, my script must have been off. I don't really know why why this wasn't over quickly, actually. Okay, well, maybe next time don't lie. Yeah, well, we'll you see. You know how we feel about lies I think I had here. last week's script, that's why. Ah, uh, okay. That's all right. We'll let you off the hook this time. Oh, the lo there's a bell. Don't, don't. Ding no dong. one, no one, dong. no. I look forward to the end. Round 24. We're not at the stage where I feel this game is ever going to be in one of those do-or-die economic scenarios just because of how volatile both these teams can be. More of the same with the clear towards top banana, but this time they don't have to receive as many nades. It's actually a gamble from Fnatic over towards A. They have four players early. I'm just going to leave Flusher on the B bomb site. Smoke and Molotov remaining. As I say that, he will throw out that smoke, holding the T's at bay. So top banana now. Vitality have the first piece of the puzzle. A minute and five remaining on the clock. Now they'll get top mid. Smoke towards the arch side and in response, we've highlighted that one before. Fnatic love to fight for this mid control. They've dumped out their own smoke. They have to flash. Nade from Crims is good. But he's yeah. taken out. I was still hits his shot though. <sighs> and so now they're trying to deny some info. They've been previously caught out by that corner. This time he'll fill it with flame. And that's a big deal to win. And now Golden's gone too. Oh, this bloodbath just isn't stopping between these two. It was uh, a, a pretty brutal affair until this point, but JW and Flusher are still somewhat present, but then you look at RPK. He's not letting he them save, everything. Lauren. No, no, he's he not letting let them save anything. at all. There's, there's no fun allowed here for Fnatic. I wonder if they're considering this. They're clearing close. I, ooh, it looks like JW's backing away. I think they've kind of oh, no. given nothing. Now, RPK, how much damage can he do? Let's Let's have a look. This is the shower scene from Psycho right now. We know exactly what's going to happen. JW does. He's not clearing this. Yeah, he's not. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Quick reactions. You had a little sweep. Okay. And that's an orb to save now. Are we happy with that? I AK and an orb. It. Quite a deal. Wow. All right. 13 on the board for Vitality. This one here is going to be a bit of a nail biter. RPK is going to be like, what? <laughs> like, what? Why? God. I, I don't know how you quantify or they're able to replicate this on not a regular basis, but it must be 
Such a nice factor to have someone like Zywe who can just still somehow deliver that. What is that in the bottom corner? Is that a boatyard? Yeah, that's what I wasn't sure about. I'm really interested yeah. in that room. <laughs> I really want to know now. I really want to know. <laughs> what are we looking at? What's in the box? Area 52. All right, well, Masuda has a Mac 10. This means I think we're looking at something a little bit faster or a set piece here. He's heading over towards Alt Middle, so we might see them line up some smokes and flashes quickly. Okay, JW wants to take matters into his own hands. Take Shoxy out of the equation very, very quickly. Zywe and Masuda might just walk forward here on the apartments and try and catch them off guard. Looks like this is going to be a quick burst. <sighs> JW. Aggression to start with, but put down finally. Brolin's still alive, and he's buying time and being a massive nuisance, Masuda. Oh, he's not trying to knife him, is he? I <laughs> through the smoke instead. I mean, which way would you like to die at this point? As it looks like Crims, Golden, and Flusher are the closest to this, but oh. there's no ease to it because Apex is among enemies here. Behind enemy lines, bomb yet to go down, but it will soon. As Golden and Flush are the last two, separated by middle, and Zywu patrolling. <sighs> they, they can't catch a break, Fnatic. Like, Apex did the right play, gets the kill, and then gets out of dodge, and now Zywu's flanking the position that Apex was just covering off. It's just a constant moving puzzle from Vitality. I'm not sure how they maintain like this mid-round like synergy and chemistry that they have going on. Because they always say... Ooh. Okay. Flusher converts. And they will save their guns. But money is in a bad spot for Fnatic here. But this is usually when we see a Fnatic round come out. It's been a while. We haven't had one of them since uh, the JW Deagle down mid on the T side. <clears throat> It'd be about time. Two saved M4s. Everyone else is on an unhealthy number. You can see that chicken did get cooked up. And this is Zywu. Another opening frag for him into the site. Like he didn't TK there. Masuda was pretty low on HP. So that worked out very well. Bit of a smirk. It's only two rounds away now. More arts and crafts. Yeah, I, I don't know that. Can anyone, anyone know that there's waters. an air conditioner? Yeah. And That's all it I can looks really like a see. Jeep or something like a Jeep. Well, I was thinking like a boat, but maybe I don't know. My my eyes aren't that good. Every time I go to get in close, we off the fan cam. So, all right. Well, second time out called by Fnatic, and this is what we were talking about outlining their financial jeopardy. It's a conversation to be had with Coach Samuelson and of course Golden. Looks like they're going for it. Roland's fully bought. Flush is dropping something. JW. Deagle full buy. Interesting choice. Not sure if that's going to be indicative of... Uh... Oh. You monster. Oh, no. Last second. The chicken was just You're smiling. Safe. Avoided that nasty loud bang. Oh, nasty boys. Chicken dinners tonight. All right. Well, JW has that Deagle. So let's see if he can replicate what he did in the previous. Was on the other side of the map, so not going to be easy to do exactly that. But this might just be another pounce again. So you can see the pace change from Vitality. It's more direct right now in their approach. We have a minute 20 left on the clock, and they already have three members towards the end of apartments. Now the Molotov will come in. That'll hold them at bay for seven more seconds. There's smokes to work with. Thinking better of going for this, so maybe the jig is up. And they can go back towards B. They baited out a lot of utility there off the back of Fnatic. Especially the Molotovs. That's always a good stopping power. Not sure waiting with that Molly as soon as... Did oh they slip the timing? How? They might see Zywu, but they don't know about Apex. They, they're way ahead of this utility. Apex is going to swing it. Say goodbye, Golden. Flusher can only hold oh. so much. That timing was impeccable. Yeah, that's flawless. He's got his jiggle. These were those pace changes we were talking to him about the other day in the post-game interview. That's exactly what Apex is talking about. It's Seems so hard. Pace. Yeah, you just don't know what's coming next. And just as the same utility arrives, a different push on a different site. Zywu's got util to burn. He's catching nades, but the round is done. Yeah, I think this one's all over, Red Rover. Save the guns if you want, Fnatic, but right now you can't put a finger on where Vitality are going. One second they had three players enter halls. The next minute, two players oh, yeah. are past the jiggle peak on the B site and they're walking yeah. on in. Flusher, when he drops that Molotov, he's already in trouble. Yeah, he's in jeopardy by the time he's he's actually got his weapon back in his hands. So we will make it away. 7 HP needs to get a clear radius from that bomb and about now... Kablamo. Safe and sound. <clears throat> so match, or rather map point, four of them. Four map points for them. 
Team Vitality, that is. Fnatic, a three-round silence from them has fallen upon them. On their map pick, I will remind you, this is the map that Fnatic chose to brawl upon. And now battling for overtime in pursuit of victory. And it's not ideal. Famas, three of them. One in the M4 category. Scout, though. Yeah, and JW's definitely no slouch on it. The nade is good. Softened up for... Whoa. No yeah. scout tags today. The suit has caught him up middle. It sounded like a little dink through the logs there, and he evades the nade quite nicely as well. So, we always knew the French were good dancers. He continues to prove us correct. Five versus four. No rush at all. TTs are running out of all of their smokes. Another deep one deployed. And they'll just start to regroup and, and likely group up with all of their resources, throw them towards one site, leave someone with a boatload of util to throw it towards the other first, keep the CT's feet planted, and then finish with the numbers advantage. Yeah, the disparity in utility is oh. very poignant. Flusher with a brave check. Down He's banana. Open. And yeah, it's wide open. Golden coming back around, but has nothing to slow down a hit if it does come through. Got no fun at all. What a horrible position Fnatic find themselves in here. They need a multi-kill from Golden. Needs to step up. Look at this. Vitality is still strung out across the map. Normally in this situation, as you were just prefacing, Alex, you would group up, you would hit a bomb site, and you would trade efficiently, but they're just happy to put this wide net out. They're so confident in their individual ability and finding these fights against Fnatic that they're staying strung out. And look, Masuda, all the way forward in halls. We've got the smoke over towards the arch side now. We have one all the way over towards the mini pit. Flash towards top mid, and they still have a player watching the banana push. Okay. Nice gap from Brolin. Master of the pit position. Not gonna be knocked off his perch. He stands his ground again firmly. Must the multi-kill you were waiting for, Chad. And it does look like this one's gonna go out in nothing more than a whimper. No time. Suta has to save, has to survive. Well, I'm glad that happened because it illustrates the danger of what I was talking about. Yeah. If a player does grab a multi-kill, then the round unravels. And Vitality are obviously very confident in their approach because, well, they're sitting on 15 and the scoreline was 15-11, now to be 15-12. But this is Brolin getting it done late. So the fact he still has to smoke this late in the piece, good stuff from him, being able to completely shut this down and Crims with a little naughty boy push through the smoke. But Vitality might just try something direct again, right? That was more of a passive style that was a bit slower. Shock's actually bringing out the AWP on the T side. Curious to see. Let's see what he does with it. Usual exchange on banana for now. See if anything different comes Ooh. through. That was some damage and a half. Golden's nade's gonna finish off RPK, so opener for the CTs. It feels like we haven't seen too many, and it looks like Apex wants back in. These two are really gonna go up for this fight, are oh, you? No, know, okay, backs away. Calms it down a bit. The CTs are fighting this. Super active. Deep nade comes out. <laughs> Team smoke in the back of the head. Smoke now. Yeah, the pace will kind of slowly calm down for a second. The CTs consider their options. I, I don't know where they take this now. Apex is so low. They still have a lot of utility, though, to play with. And finding time and placement for shocks to bring that all in, yet to be seen. It's going to be a hard one for Vitality to win, but I think with shocks on the AWP, it gives them an opportunity to search for a frag. With roughly 45 seconds left on the clock, he can be posturing forward a little bit more so, but has to take some aggressive fights here. They can't just continue to go slowly. A snail's pace will not cut it. The bomb on Apex coming through late hauls. So we might see a three-man wrap. Zywa covering the booty. But like I said, they have to get a move on. 30 seconds. No one's holding the apartments area. Zaiwu does find the opener. JW got inquisitive. That's their go sign. And Brolin so close. The transfer is magnificent. Shocks close quarters. Apex has dropped the bomb, but it does get thrown down the balcony. He has a chance if he hits this quick, but it's not to be. And Fnatic getting us dangerously close to overtime. Now, what's that done to the French? They got, what, 2.6 low end, 7.3 on Masuta. Suda could just buy an AK here and go for the hero AK with everybody else just taking a light pistol upgrade. They don't have to go for an all-in play at this moment. We have one more crack at it after this one. And as we hear the thinking music, that means one thing. Vitality have taken their last time out. We're going to discuss their final two rounds of regulation and how they want to approach them going forward. Very, very important they get all of their ducks in a row and everybody understanding what they need to do, what they need to buy. So they've gone with two hero AKs, one for Masuta and one for Zaiwu. 
If we take a look at the scores right now, RPK leading the way with 23 kills, 22 for Zaiwu, 23 as well for Shox, 14 for Apex, 12 for Masuda on the other side, 23 for Crims, 19 for Flusher, 15 for Brolin, and 13 apiece for JW and Golden, respectively. So Masuda, having one of these hero AKs because of his extra cash, he needs to get something done right now. An opening would be nice. Some light pistols as well for the other three, all onto the P250s. Three smokes to work with. I don't know what you do with this purchase, but we've seen some very strange things this game. So maybe there's uh, some method to the madness. I'm see making sense to the economy standard right now, but Zaiwu and Misuta, how'd you bring them to a feasible location? Unfortunately, Lauren, for the viewers at home, you have to wait out all the early spread of utility here from Fnatic. Don't get baited into taking too much early damage. You have to be uh, inquisitive enough to force out the nades, exactly like what we're seeing here. So at the, this point of the round, the smokes will have all cleared by just under one minute. That's going to leave two more smokes, one in JW's hands, one in Brolin's hands, and a couple more Molotovs. So Vitality need to jiggle their way into getting a few more nades out here. It looks like double nades are set up towards the top banana. So as soon as they face... Oh my god, Masuta? Golden's been flatlined. Oh my god, but the damage coming back has been pretty massive too, but... I'll take the kill over the damage. For now, though, it does call JW over. He's had to come and bring himself around with the AWP. Peeks into this. They do have a couple of smokes to put into play. A nade as well, but it's not much to write home about. Forced off the angle. Flusher still holds. Flusher taking to the big of the heavy, hit, the heavy hitters. The two had the rifles. And now Apex picks up one. Shocks with the other, but no armor. Time to plant. It's not like they need the money, but getting ready to pounce is flusher. He doesn't need to lurk through the smoke like this. That was the way back in for Vitality, perhaps. Oh, I missed shot. JW caught. They're doing it. The French are actually doing it. Brolin's coming from Banana. That will be Shox's responsibility. He's opted for the pull off angle. And with no armor, he has to be the one to pull the trigger first. Brolin's going to make it really clear he's coming. Oh, it's not easy now. And he only hits the warning shot, down to 50. RPK in the close corner, kept alive, and now Vitality, true to their name, are the ones 